Yo, what's poppin', man? Welcome back to the channel, man. We about to get into this story about this man planting bombs at the Hard Rock Casino in Tampa. Oh, man, what's going on, man? It's just like I wake up to these crazy stories and people crashing out day by day. Yo, if you're new to the channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, turn on post notifications so you can stay updated with the latest release. I really do appreciate anybody and everybody watching these videos with me. With that being said, let's get into it, man. This guy looked like he just... Honestly, bro, he look ex-military, bro. Like, I can see it in his eyes, bro. The man look like he he know what he doing. Okay? And this is why they need to have metal detectors at casinos. Okay? Nobody should be able to just walk into a casino with bombs. That's crazy. Explosives. Whatever you want to call it. Nobody should be able to do that. That's crazy. You got Hard Rock Casino Seminole Police there. You got Tampa police in the area. You got USF police in the area. I know everybody can't be watched at all times. I get that. But there is no reason why this man was able to sneak explosives into a casino. That's crazy. Tonight, he's under arrest for trying to bomb it. He is 46-year-old Brian Robert Eckley, accused by FDLE of placing two explosive devices in bathrooms that forced evacuations last month. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live at Hillsborough County Courthouse with more on this. Evan, so many questions. Shit, last month. Okay. Questions. Uh, let's start with Eckley, though. He was scheduled to appear in court. Tell us more. Yeah, uh, he was. And right now, the biggest question that law enforcement are trying to answer is the motive. Why? Why uh, did he do this? They do say, though, that, that he was very good at disguising him, himself from security staff there who were very familiar with him. This is a screen grab of Brian Robert Eckley doing his best. In my 29 years doing this, I got to say that he was very good, but we're better. <laughs> Taken on September 30th by surveillance cameras at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino, FDLE says he was even changing the way he walked to avoid detection. They say... What? Yo, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This man changed... Hold on, this man pulled a GTA. You know how you can go on GTA and change the way you walk? And... This man changed the way he walked to not be detected. Yo, what type of shit? I, I get body gestures. I know that's the real thing. I know you can tell if somebody lying based on their body gestures. Okay, but God damn, this man changed the way he walked. You can do that? He planted two explosive devices in bathrooms that had previously been described as crude and laced with fireworks. This is video from Sky Fox from that day, which shows the evacuation taking place. The devices were found by staff before they went off. But what was his motive? We have some theories, but I don't want to opine on that. Uh, we did two search warrants yesterday, and we recovered a lot of digital evidence, which we're going to start going through. And Eckley is described as a frequent guest of the casino. He was spotted acting suspiciously in the days before and had even rented a car with a burner phone and alias. On September 26th, this police report shows he was arrested for firing a gun into the air at someone's front door in West Chase, hours after having a political argument with them. A political argument you shot at somebody. Damn, what's going on? I wonder who he was... Uh going for I, I believe he probably was saying trump you know what i'm saying but god damn this is crazy man <laughs> dude really brought some explosives to the casino it's like nobody cared no more bro it's like everybody just out here just crashing out people need mental help people need psych evaluations this shit is crazy so now he will be held accountable for his actions and actions that could have endangered many lives. Page 76, Brian Eckley. His first court appearance had been scheduled for Thursday afternoon, but was continued until Friday to give the defense more time. Law enforcement points out he faces 30 years in prison for two counts of placing explosive devices. He was there a lot. They this it up. So 30 years for planting explosives in a well-known establishment. Wow. Hey, man, that's the video, man. Um, yo, I don't even know what to say because this is crazy, bro. Like, this man really took the time out to bring explosives to the casino. For what reason? We don't know. They didn't disclose. They got their theories. 
a shout out to them for cop, uh, for grabbing him up and getting them out of the streets. This is crazy. <laughs> With that being said, man, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, turn on post notification, and I'll see y'all in the next one. The question that they ask, but I'm spazzing on their ass in my phone. I'm going fast. Fuck your questions, I'm a boss. I used to take hella losses, not broke niggas. Keep your distance. I ain't got.